What's up? Welcome back to Nostalgia. Dave here with a review of Schoolboy Q's Blue Lips Weekend Concert Tour. I just saw Schoolboy Q in Boston at Big Night Live. This is my fifth time seeing Schoolboy Q. First time was 10 years ago on the Black Hippie Tour opening for Kendrick Lamar. I saw him open for Kendrick on the Damn Tour. I saw him do a set at Governor's Ball. And I also saw Schoolboy five years ago at his last tour, the uh, Crash Tour, supporting his album from 2019. So it's been a long time for me seeing Q, but it's funny to reflect on having seen him five times now and, you know, seeing an artist that you've been listening to and seeing for 10 plus years. It's fun when you get to that point when an artist just really, really have that like familiarity with the performing style and of course the music as well. And yeah, obviously big fan of Q. I've been a big fan of his album from earlier this year, Blue Lips. It certainly is going to make my best albums of the year when it's all said and done. Of course, having seen Q before, nothing too surprising with this set. Honestly, it's pretty simple. Just Q, to his credit, really going up there and just running through songs. He actually kind of made a point of bringing this up th uh, in between songs where he's just going to go back to back to back because he's got that many songs, that many bangers, etc. Jumping across, forward and back, across his discography, across his albums, playing new songs, playing old songs. Not much of a rhyme or reason to the track list per se. I actually was a bit um, surprised at the sequencing of the set list, which, uh, having looked it up, it seems to be pretty consistent with all the Blue Lips weekend tour dates, where Schoolboy, he does Man of the Year, and that part, you know, kind of in the first third of the set, but not in the beginning, just kind of like, you know, track 10, track 12 of the set list. And... He does collard greens even earlier. He, he, so all of his like signature songs, his biggest hits, he plays them quickly. He doesn't really save any of those for the end. I thought that was a bit interesting. The songs he goes out on, Floating Off Crash Talk, which got a big pop. Crash from Crash Talk, I think two of the best songs on that album. An album that's, I think, largely considered Schoolboy's least successful album. Not bad, but just his least good one. Funny that he picks two songs from Crash Talk to be in the last four and then he ends with Year in 101 and Ohio, both from Blue Lips, of course. Interesting, just not what I would have expected. Honestly, my favorite sequence in the whole set, perhaps unsurprising to many, many Q fans, but it's right before that ending sequence where he does There He Go, Hands on the Wheel, and Blessed, back to back to back, of course, all three songs off his landmark album but habits and contradictions from 2012 my only criticism of this which was awesome it's so fun to be in a room full of people knowing the words to those songs you know having schoolboy you know cut the audio having dj cut the audio and people chanting back there he go because they know the song so well my only note on that is he did there he go as like a melody with hands on the wheel like he did half of that song that went hands on the wheel like there he go is for a long time was the signature cue song like that this definitely deserves full play if you ask me i was kind of surprised that he cut it short that way but that was my favorite stretch there you go hands on the wheel blessed big pop for all three of those all the phones come out for that and that, i think that's what's kind of funny about seeing school by q live is like this show wasn't sold out it was almost sold out sunday night show in the summer college kids aren't around makes sense i guess but no one really like casually goes to a school boy q concert like i'm sure there were some casual fans there people going with someone else etc but for the most part like the heads were there and to that to that point it was probably like 80 20 uh guy to girl ratio unsurprising but at what you get out of that is you have people that really know the music and that's always a fun you know shared experience to have like in the beginning you know he does like water off uh crash talk that one got a big pop for sure but like dope dealer that's the song that really hit by any means really hit that part. You know, that part's one that part in College Greens, they had the backing track on that because of course there's features on those songs, and he plays out the feature. He does some of Kendrick's uh College Greens verse. You know, I think the do 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 part, of course, iconic, you gotta let that play. But he also does it with that part, kind of surprising to me, because the crowd loves the Kanye uh, feature on that part. They let that play out but yeah ultimately uh schoolboy you know kind of in line with expectations really good rapper for the most part he's only doing instrumentals not using the backtrack at all really kind of kept it kept it all business for the most part just kind of went through the set list and if you're a big fan of his you have to hear a ton of songs you love um funny enough what was it like less than two weeks ago schoolboys blue lips weekend tour stop in toronto 
got canceled, like kind of last minute. Assumption is it's Drake affiliated with Live Nation, and Q had some things to say about that. Kind of funny um, along those lines. When the show ended, you know, a good hour and a half later, uh, after beginning, uh, the DJ played "Not Like Us" as the outro, and people are singing along as they're walking out. Unsurprising, and I think just fitting of the times. But yeah, shout out Schoolboy Q. Big fan of his. Big fan of Blue Lips. Check out my album review of Blue Lips from a few months ago. If you missed it, of course, make sure you tune back in at the end of the year. I'll be talking about that in my top 10 albums of the year. I'm almost certain of that. And for more concert reviews, more rap album reviews, music reviews, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.